If you're engaging somehow in industrial automation as a technician or engineer, you definitely have heard of PLCs. By end of watching this video, you'll get the answer to this question. What is a PLC? Well, PLC is short for Programmable Logic Controller, and it's widely used in various industries, such as steel, textile, chemical, automobile, oil and gas, and robotics, among other industries. In general, we can say a PLC is a compact industrialized computer that has been adapted for the control of equipment and process in an industrial facility from one location. In another word, PLC is the main key behind almost every automated control process. To understand the nature of a PLC and its functions, let's switch to a human body example and then extend it to a PLC. As you know, the most important organ in the human body is the brain. It collects information and data through human body inputs of sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch, and then starts processing the data gathered and makes a decision, or we call it logic, on what to do next. Finally, the brain sends the command to the human body outputs of hands, feet, or voice to accomplish what the human body wants. For example, here in this industrial facility, there is a conveyor that transfers an empty box. And at the end of the conveyor, we want the empty box to be moved to a large bin. For this process to happen in an old-fashioned way, we need the help of an operator who is present in this industrial site. Among her five senses, she needs the sense of sight as input to send data to the brain. Also, she needs her hands as output to get commands from the brain. At this point, the operator focuses her eye on the end of the conveyor. When the box reaches that spot, the operator's eye detects the box and then sends data to the brain. The brain starts processing the data in relation to the logic, which is moving the box to the large bin at the end of the conveyor. Now the brain transfers command to the operator's hands to push the box to the large bin. In short, we can say, look first, then think, and finally taking an action. It is obvious that this operator can't be available 24 hours a day, and she gets tired after several hours. If this industrial process needs to be continued, and meanwhile the operator leaves the site for some reason, what will happen? Oops! As you can see, the boxes are thrown on the floor and piled on top of each other instead of being moved into the large bin. So, what should we do to fix this problem? Aha! Uh -huh. Here is where the PLC comes to play. Let's return to our industrial example where the operator was present. It's time to start replacing these three elements with three devices. Instead of using an eye and hands for this automation process, we can use a proximity sensor as an input and a pusher as an output. And at last, we are going to replace the brain with the PLC. Let's dig a little bit into the PLC and see how it operates. The functions of a simple PLC can be divided into three categories. 1. Input 2. Central Processing Unit, or CPU and 3. Output Before I go further more into PLC functions, I should explain one important thing. PLC is a device and not a human, so it can't think itself to make a decision. To solve this issue, we must write a program according to our process requirement also known as PLC program, and then download it directly to the CPU of the PLC. The PLC program is stored in a non-volatile memory, so it is not lost in the event of a power failure. Now, let's review our industrial process, this time with the presence of a PLC. We put the box at the beginning of the conveyor to be transferred. When the box takes place at the end of the conveyor, the proximity sensor detects a presence of a box and sends signal to a PLC input and tells the PLC, Hey buddy, we have a situation down here. Please check it out how it affects the PLC program. Then the CPU executes the PLC program based on the data received from the PLC input and makes the final decision. Finally, the CPU informs its commands to the PLC output and sends an output signal to the actuator and tells the pusher, Hey you, I need you to open your lever. 
which results in activating the pusher and moving the box to the large bin. So, we can summarize the PLC functions into three steps. One, reading input, which detects the state of the proximity sensor that is connected to the PLC input. Two, executing the PLC program based on the information received from the PLC input. And three, writing output, which sends commands to the pusher that is connected to the PLC output. Well, that's all we have for you today. If you watch this far, I'm sure you like this channel. So, hit that subscribe button and then a little bit next to it. This way, each time we upload a new video, you'll get the notification. Also, we are very curious if you guys try to comment below and share your thoughts about this video. Did it taste good? We would love to know.